Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Libra. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. We have the King of Wands here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Energy. 111 on the camera. So 111 to me is about tuning into your intuition. It could be about new beginnings, alignment. All right, we have the Hermit, Virgo Energy. We have Hiding Feelings here. We have Seven of Wands. Clarify the King of Wands. The Long Wait card. Mm. Clarify the Hermit. We have Two of Wands. Somebody's been doing a lot of thinking about which path or which direction they want to go in here. And I feel like somebody's been literally keeping you on hold while they try to figure out what they want to do with their life. Um... It could be a fire sign that you've been dealing with or you're a fire sign, but there's somebody here that's been literally keeping you waiting and kind of like, I just heard expecting you to put, to put your life on hold for them, hold space for them while they're not even sure if they're going to choose you or not. They haven't been sure if they want to pursue you or pursue something else or somebody else, but they have been doing a lot of thinking about this. This is somebody that's been hiding their feelings and emotions to you, to you, from you. Uh, maybe because they have a fear of vulnerability, insecure, whatever it is. But with justice here, um, there's going to be some type of balance restored. Let's see, the seven of wands, the six of swords. Somebody has set boundaries here and they're moving on with their life. Maybe you guys feel like it's time to let this person go. To set those boundaries, stand firm on those boundaries and move it along, you know. We do have the Knight of Cups on the back of the deck. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. See, what is this about waiting? See, this part, oh, guys, I really hope that somebody was not, for some of you, if, I'm getting a lot of different messages here when it comes to this situation. So one of the situations could be that somebody has been waiting for you to come back to them and offer your love to them. And in the meantime, they've been uh, entertaining a karmic partner. For others of you, they were keeping you waiting while they were dealing with a karmic partner or they couldn't make up their mind about whether they wanted you or this other person. For others, I hope this is, I really hope this one isn't the case, but I hope that they weren't, in our, I don't see it that way, but for some of you, they could have been using you as a placeholder until they, they this other person, but I feel like this person thinks you're going to come back. Yeah, I really feel like this person thinks that you're going to come back with some type of expression of emotions. That could be something that you normally do is come in and you pursue them. You come in and you express your feelings and emotions. You open up because there's this energy of this person hope, like hopeful about something here. But there's something here. There definitely is a karmic in the mix here. Yeah, what, somebody doesn't know what they want. But I mean, they could be starting to understand what they want with the Ace of Swords here. What is the deal with this karmic partner? What is the deal with this karmic? It's some they may be they may be using a karmic partner as a placeholder. See, spirit is saying that divine timing has been at play when it comes to you, this person, and the karmic because they have to complete that. They have lessons that you know. That's the whole purpose of karmic relationships is to to learn lessons for growth. So I feel like spirit is saying that that's actually where they need to be. It's almost like, yeah, like the karmic, you know, is doing their job is what I just heard. Like the karmic, whoever this other person is that they're dealing with, that's where they were supposed to be. Because that's where they're going to learn the lesson that they need to learn here. So what does this have to do with my collective? The king of pentacles and mirroring. What does this have to do with my collective? The King of Pentacles and Mary? The Seven of Pentacles? Hmm. What does Mary have to do with that? Clean up. So maybe you and this person both needed to kind of do some decluttering here. Yeah, it, it, there was both a need for you guys to kind of maybe... You showed this person that they needed to release somebody. And maybe... Since you guys make they feel like if you really look take a look at your situ where your situation is now, what your situation's like now versus versus what it was like when you first met this person, you guys may even realize that you have like maybe removed a lot of people from your circle or your life, and maybe they are doing the same thing. It's something about they're showing you something. They're your vice versa. 
Who's thinking about, what does that do with my collection? The King of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles? The Four of Pentacles? I feel like, even if you guys, th there's something like this deep inner knowing between you and this person that like, you guys are still holding on to each other. That's all I can say. You guys are still holding on to each other, but there's definitely this, and they're still, they're definitely still holding on to you. It's almost like they're still holding on to the thought of having something long-term with you. But what is this conflictedness? They know that they have to cut off some karmic ties and they know that they have to do the work. But I feel like the problem was that, that was before this person encountered you, they didn't know what, what they really needed to work on. You showed this person what they needed to work on. You showed them where they were toxic. You showed them where they needed to grow. And that's, you know, the purpose of this. But yeah, you, you, you may, you've kind of helped this person see the light. Um, now they see it, but they have been, yeah, exactly. They do see it with the awakening card coming out. Confirmation. There, you, you triggered the awakening in this person. So you kind of gave this person hope because this person kind of felt like their life was always going to be a certain way and it wasn't good. I'm going to be honest with you. Like this person thought that their life was always going to be, they always were going to feel trapped or they were going to always have anxiety or feel stuck or they weren't going to move forward in life or whatever. Some of you, they were dealing with mental health issues, but it's something about when you came into their life, you gave them some type, some type of renewed hope, but Maybe this person is still hopeful that you will return. What is waiting? Unawakened. See? See, it doesn't totally understand their love for you. Yeah. Three of Wands. See, there's a lot of energy here of waiting. You were always waiting for this person to make that decision to, like, take the next step, to take things to the next level, to choose you, to get this shit going. And I feel like... How do I say this? Like you triggered the awakening in this person, but it wasn't fair for them to expect you to wait for them to finish the awakening process. Like, I mean, it, it, it's like they wanted you to just kind of stay by their side while they were still kind of like healing. Yeah. Someone is, yeah. I wish it was my collector though. The world. See, what is something is getting left behind here, guys? And I don't think it's you. Is this what's this up to do with my collective? Oh, some of you guys did. This person feels abandoned by you. You know what really showed this person that they needed to change was when you walked away from them. Yeah, you guys are definitely in this energy of setting boundaries, um, standing your ground, moving, ready to move on. Um, and this person feels like you're abandoning them. They're kind of playing the victim like, you know, I'm trying to get my life together and I'm starting to understand things and I'm start, I'm changing and I'm healing and they just won't wait for me. You're not supposed to wait for them, especially it's something about you bruise this person's ego. Like, see, it would be different if they were surrendering to the connection, but they were, they, they could have been awakening, but they were still also resisting it. They weren't just surrendering to it. And that's why you needed to remove yourself from the situation. Yeah, they saw you as wish fulfillment, but... See, this person, exactly, confirmation, resisting change. So you show this person a lot of things. And instead of being like, wow, I see the truth now. I'm ready to take action and make some changes. And I want to be with the collective. This person saw the truth and resisted it and resisted the changes that they knew they needed to make. It's like they knew exactly what they needed to do and then, then they didn't do it. And that's why you guys had to set boundaries and move away from them. And this person's kind of like been in this victim mentality, like you abandoned them and they were trying to change for you and you didn't wait on them and you didn't give them enough time and blah, 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 blah. But yeah, here font Taurus energy, the hanged man. They need to change. There's some type of belief that they have. It, it could be surrounding commitment that needs to change here. They find you very attractive. They find you very magnetic. They, but they're moving towards you very slowly. See, Ace of Wands and the Eight of Cups. It's almost like, I'm telling you, you guys lit a fire under this person's ass when you walked away from them. So for those of you that have already walked away from this person, they, they're, they're coming towards you. They're just kind of moving toward. They feel very drawn to you. They have not forgotten about you. 
It's funny because they, they think you're their person. Because I was just thinking when I was shuffling, this Queen of Wands was your energy. And they came out as the King of Wands. So they feel like you guys are a match. I mean, you guys could be a match. But it's something about some type of spark when you, you chose to walk away. Yeah, this person misses you. They're going to return, though. I see energy of a reunion if you want it. Yeah, things, be, things being able to move forward. Yeah. Cancer energy with the chariot. Why was this person being so resistant, though? Why was this person being so... Re First of all, okay, let's get clarity on this, then I'll look at that. Why was this person being so resistant? I mean, change isn't easy. What about the Four of Cups? This person was very emotionally disconnected. This person didn't want to have to take accountability for some things, guys. That's what I'm saying. It's like they didn't all... They kind of didn't want to had to take accountability for how, yeah, past actions and consequences. Yeah. Yeah, fears, illusions, uncertainty. What about the high priestess, Pisces energy? This person was hiding their feelings and emotions. Why? What about the Scorpio energy and the lovers? That was possibly why things ended between you and this person. I mean, amongst other things. So why is this, um, what about this karmic partner? Probably what I'm going to name this reading. Walking away from this person has lit a fire under their butts or something along those lines. Um, what about this karmic energy? What is that on there? Okay. What is this karmic energy? Page of Wands. See, whatever this karmic was, it's not anything serious. All right? They they either rebounded or it was somebody that they don't have deep feelings and emotions for. It could have been new and exciting, but it, it, it faded. Just It was quick. It was quick and it was fleeting. It was like puppy love or a crush or something like that. Or it was just somebody that they dealt with briefly who they didn't have deep feelings and emotions for. Could have been a fire sign. But why is the Ten of Cups here? See, this person is a little bit weird. You know why, guys? Because this person had just maybe met somebody or it's weird. It could have been something really new and they just for some reason thought it was going to be... Maybe at some point it was happy and harmonious, but that was only for a very brief period of time. What about judgment, Scorpio energy, the page of cups? What does that do with this karmic? The queen of pentacles. What about the queen of pentacles? I did see the money. What was that card? Money over love or whatever. Like they could have chose money over love. So what, did, what does that do with my collective? The sun. You definitely have triggered growth in this person because they were very toxic and destructive. Yeah, you triggered them to go into the dark night of the soul. But what does this have to... They're getting some type of karma. Whatever happened with them in this karmic was karma. What? Why did they think the Ten of Cups were the karmic? The Six of Wands? Did this person give them a lot of attention or something like that? What did, why did they think that... See, this person's a little delusional. See, yeah, new love. What's that do with anything? The Nine of Swords. See? What they thought was going to be new and, and exciting and happy happiness or whatever, it turned out to be a nightmare. I don't know why, though, but this is their karma. They regret ever getting involved with that person. Why did the situation turn into a nightmare? They Or they could have just taken a leap of faith. It, it doesn't even have to be a new person. They got they started dealing with somebody. It was maybe they thought it was going to be good, a good situation. It was going to lead them to happiness. It was going to work, whatever. They took a leap of faith. They were impulsive more so, I should say things ended very quickly with this other person or things went down the shit like it just went to shit really fast it turned into a nightmare situation see this is somebody that they maybe moved in with or for some of you they they could have rushed into marrying this person look and death uh, it ended it's like it ended just as fast as it started yeah eight of pentacles or they're maybe trying to work on ending it now yeah because oh yeah because they feel stuck they feel trapped why why are they feeling trapped there? I hope children aren't involved, guys. Lord. Why are, Why do they feel stuck there? Or they maybe can't get out of their head about something. There's a lot of conflict and fighting there. Or maybe they think leaving that situation is going to cause a lot of conflict and fighting. Uh, maybe they feel that their family won't approve of the, of the situation. Or them leaving the situation and putting an end to it. Huh. Um. Why do they feel? Tell me more about why they feel stuck. See the Eight of Cups. So why do they feel stuck there? 
what a catch. They're going to leave. I don't know. They're going to leave because they feel like they found somebody that they feel like they're, they have a fear of losing you. They want to conquer you. They, they feel like they found somebody that's a catch. But why were they hesitant to leave that other side? Why are they feeling trapped there? See, for some of you, this wasn't even somebody. This this whole situation with this karmic was before they even met you. So they could have rushed into a situation with somebody thinking that it was going to be what they wanted. They, they, they moved too quickly with somebody. They moved too quickly with somebody. They didn't get to know them long enough. So that could also be why this person has been, been, been so, taking things so very slow with you. Because they could have rushed into a situation with somebody and realized that they were a monster. That's kind of what I'm getting from this. Like they rushed into living with somebody or rushed into a relationship with somebody. I hope they didn't get this. They could have ended up having a kid with this. Like something, they started feeling trapped in that situation. It could have been for money reasons. I don't know. But... Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. And then how did you come into play? <laughs> and then I, with this eight of wands, if you, they could have met you suddenly. They weren't expecting to meet you. Yeah, why did, what, where did, how did you get into this situation? The moon? They put you in some type of complicated situation. Yeah, they put you in a third party situation. What about the page of swords manifesting you? They're watching you. They're wanting to work on something with you. Yeah, they're wanting to work on something with you. And I do, they want you back. What? But like, it's almost like they've been afraid to walk away from this other situation, even though it's shitty. Yeah, what about the lovers? Four of Pentacles. Why? What's up with? What's up with my collective? Straight. See, yeah. And date. Are they gaining a new person? Yeah, they're gonna kind of come in. They didn't expect to meet you. Why are they not walking away from the other situation though? They're going to walk. All I know, guys, is I do feel like they've been stalling on it. Okay. They have been stalling, leaving that other situation. I feel like it's because of fears. Them not sure how they really feel about you. Them not wanting to make a rash decision like they did before and get into a bad situation. But they're going to end up closing out that cycle and coming in with this Ace of Pentacles. We have steady union. Yeah. So it's like they know that with you, they've had like a new, a great opportunity, a new great love that's been just waiting for them. To overcome these obstacles. Yeah, they've, they've had wet wish fulfillment waiting in you. Yeah, tell me more. But why do they feel like you're forbidden? Maybe they feel like you guys are too different. They maybe your family, their family doesn't like you. Their friends don't like you, but they do love you. Uh, why, are, why does this feel forbidden? Waiting. Why is it forbidden? Maybe they feel like eight of wands. They're not telling me. They could have ghosted you. Maybe this person doesn't feel like they can come back to you or they're not sure. Maybe that's why they're spying on you, wanting to maybe trying to scope out the situation. Why do they feel like um, the collective is forbidden? Why do they feel like they're... It's almost like this person views love as forbidden. Like, they're not used to getting in their feelings and emotions like this. I don't know. Why do they feel like it's forbidden? See, they don't... They haven't awakened totally or fully to this connection yet. They still got a lot of healing to do. And they still got some, per, you know, their perspective needs to change about some things still. Um, let's see. What is about to happen here? What is about to happen here, Spirit? What can my collective expect? This person has a lot of feelings and emotions for you, but they've not been, they have an issue with vulnerability. I told you, whoever that other person is, they don't have deep feelings for that person. So that even though that person was maybe crazy or a monster that they were with, they didn't have to, they would rather stay with a monster than, they're more scared of, didn't look at this card that flipped out guys trying to move on on the rebound deeply missing you so for some of you i don't know if they tried to huh, this is hard to explain for some of you they could have met you while they were rebound like they could have broke up with that karmic or they were on a break with them or they were having a rift with that karmic met you wasn't expecting to fall in love with you and then things became complicated for others of you they found they got involved with a new a new person or went back to somebody after you walked away from them and rebounded with that person and landed in a nightmare situation. Either way, they're in a nightmare situation. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, trying to move on on the rebound, deeply missing you. Heavy on the missing you, because let's see what else. Battle wounds. See, weary and guarded, hurt in past relationships. I told you. This person got rushed into some type of situation with somebody and it turned out to be a nightmare and ever, it's like they but it's like why do they feel stuck there though that's what i don't understand why are they feeling like they're stuck there because 
it's like this person still doesn't know. Maybe in that situation, they feel like they can kind of like keep their options open. They don't have to fully commit. They can kind of just be in between. They don't have to. And like maybe you're requiring a full-blown commitment out of this person. They feel like where they're at, they can kind of like keep their options open. And it's like they're not sure about what they want. That's what I said. They don't know what they want. So and it's like maybe you're no longer tolerating them trying to make you an option. So that's why they feel like you're forbidden because you're no longer let, you're in this energy. You're in this seven of wands energy where you've set these boundaries. Like, no, you're not going to make me an option. You're not going to be out there dating everybody and thinking you're going to date me too. And the worst part about it is that this person knows that you're a catch. I don't know. It's like, yeah, not phased by a self-controlled, not reacting to negativity. What's up with this thing? Lone wolf. Yeah, choosing to stay single, happy single. What does that do with this person? The traveler, long distance relationship, beginning your journey. See, they're at the very beginning of something here. Talk about for the traveler. See, Car they started on some type of new, it's something, they're on some type of karmic relationship, karmic situation, debt, not for you. What is this up to with my collective? Key to closed doors. See, they've been on some type of karmic journey or karmic cycle with somebody that's not for them. And it's like, you were like the key. Somebody had a reading like this. I did it yesterday. Who did I do yesterday? It could have been Taurus or Capricorn. But it's almost like, it says, unlocking mysteries, access to new experiences. What was closed before is not open. So what's that do with the karmic ties and stuff like that? A big heart. Genuine love, kind, loving, generous, can be trusted with your heart. That's the karmic? See, two pop. They're trying to figure out who they should trust or who, lo who do they love or... Who genuinely loves them? Which one can they trust or something like that? That's why they're they're trying to find... Why are they so apprehensive about you, though? Why are they so apprehensive about you? See, this person doesn't like the amount of attention that you get. Or some of you guys could be famous or... Oh, yeah. What? Why are they all weird about you? Why do they not think you genuinely love them? See, they choose you. So they're going to end up choosing you. They're going to end up realizing that you were the one that did have the genuine love for them. But why didn't they think so before? Yeah, it says go for it. On the right path. Wonderful new beginning. What is making them realize this, though? A strong urge. To, maybe they feel like they're, you're the one that they feel drawn to. What is the... Why are they feeling like you're the one now? You're the one that they're going to end up choosing. Why are they feeling like you're the one that we have C unfaithful, though? And we have outside influences. Others are fetching the alcohol. Oh, somebody was poisoning them to you. Who is this talking to them and saying that you were probably cheating on them or what? Somebody is jealous at your ability to manifest or like they feel like things come easy to you or something like that. Somebody is jealous and it could be somebody external from this person. Blessed union. Yeah, y'all could have had a blessed union. See, fights, arguments, disagreements, not on the same page. Why? Bottled up. Because somebody's been holding back from you. It's like they want to get to know you better before they make the decision to be with you. And then I feel like they have these people around them. What is heart of betrayal? An offer of love. Not amused. Ooh, so you guys may not even want this an offer from this person anymore. Yeah, what about outside influences? This person, somebody was telling this person to just be friends with you or take things slower with you or just be, yeah, keep it friends with benefits or keep things casual with you. They were listening to people. Why? What does that do with? It's almost like this person just thought you were going to cheat on them or something like that, but why? Clinging to, see, they, see, the problem is, guys, is that this person, it's like, they were not wanting to let go of this karmic. Although they viewed you as somebody very beautiful and graceful. And they knew they had feelings for you. And they liked the sex with you. And why were they clinging to this old, this unhealthy relationship? I don't know, guys. But perfect match. Why were they clinging to the, this other situation, though? They weren't ready to settle down. I, I already touched on that. It's like this person thought that in that other situation, they didn't have to fully commit. Or they didn't have to fully invest. So I don't know what kind of relationship they have with this person. But they felt like in that situation, they didn't have to like fully commit. They wanted to continue to have more than one person. And I feel like they had people around them, friends, family, whoever, that were encouraging them to do this. 
All right. And they were listening to those people. But when you were a perfect match for them, you guys were a part of each other's soul family. There's a karmic contract here. So it's going to get to that point where somebody's not going to be able to. There's something that's destined to happen between you and this person. And it's going to get to that point where either they're going to have to do something. They're going to, going to have to take, make a move towards you or the divine is going to intervene or something like that. But yeah, they, 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 this person felt a lot for you very early on. And I think that that scared them. To be honest, like they felt a lot of feelings for you right, right from the beginning. That they knew that you guys could be good together. But we have miracles that are unfolding. So, yeah. Matt, yeah, there's that same card again. The miracle is somebody just, some type of new beginning here. Somebody is afraid that she will reject them though. So, miracles and magical gateway. And this is maybe going to happen unexpectedly. Yeah, strangely lonely. I'm telling you, this person was not expecting you to abandon them. I don't think, I think this person was expecting to hear from you by now. They weren't expecting you to really walk away from them. And now they're feeling lonely. They're feeling abandoned. Um, they feel like their time is running out. They feel like you're getting a little too far away from them. You're a little too confident for them. Yeah, optimistic. You're, you're, they, they see you and you're having success and you're, you're happy and you're confident. Um, and yeah, they, they've been doing a lot. I told you they've been doing a lot of thinking about this. Do I, am I ready to commit to the collective? Am I ready to settle down? Am I ready to drop all these other options and really go all in with the commitment? But we do have proper offering here. See, it's like this person's like in between offering you something stable and can, it's temptation. This person has an issue with like commitment or settling down with one person. They like to entertain more than one person. I told you, this person likes attention. Uh, so yeah. It's something about you guys leaving this person out in the cold here. It's like, they feel like you're leaving them behind and it's, that's not what they want. What they want. What they want.